The Campions, a precision drill team, keeps the community alive through the decades. It was something for us kids to do. Uh, we were kids that uh, were wandering around on the weekends, nothing to do, and Tom Campion started the boys club and the newspaper picked it up and a bunch of us joined the same day. Tom Campion was a constable from the sheriff's department. He's the one that started the Santa Rosa Boys Club. And when we became 17 years old, we could no longer stay in the Boys Club. We were too old. And yes, we wanted to keep on marching. It was in our blood forever. So what name should we take? Let's take Tom Campion's name. Called ourselves the Campions. Nineteen forty nine, November eleventh, was our very first parade when we were kids, and it was in Healdsburg. We won that one. And then later on, as we progressed uh, and got better and better, we expanded and started marching in all kinds of towns far, far away. The first state championship was nineteen fifty two. We won that one. And from there on it's history. And we took long bus trips. Um, the courthouse, of course, here in Santa Rosa was the center of town at that time, and the city gave us um, a wonderful send-off. You know, came out there with our families in the early morning, and we had banners on the side of the bus, and um, everybody was rallying around us and supporting us. In the beginning, they just had the two dancing girls, and then when they added the flags, it was, uh, the American flag plus one or two guards for that flag, and maybe the California state flag, and then the Campion flag, the Santa Rosa flag. And then they started to build um, on that. And eventually, my recollection is that they actually in integrated the flag movements with the maneuvers that the men did, so that when they went into a bow, the flags snapped across their back, and so the guys had to be sure and get the right beat when that flag snapped across them or, <laughs> or they'd be hit. We had, oh golly, a dozen or more different patterns, and in practice, each one of us had a card with the numbers on it, and in practice, we'd be marching on a parade field looking at our numbers and try to remember where we're going to go. And uh, we had to remember all those because we couldn't march in a parade carrying these things. <laughs> yeah, we marched the parade and uh, the parade officials said, uh, would you guys march again? pick up the end of the parade and do it over again. <clears throat> well, we all had a beer. We were over, over 21 at that time, and we voted, yes, we would. So we did indeed march the parade again, picked up the rear, did the whole parade again to an audience that was bigger than the first one. Quite a thrill. They had curbs, you know, to divide us down the center of the streets. We had the little round reflectors for lanes, marking the lanes for the cars. We had to watch these all the time. Uh, some streets are tore up a little bit more than other streets, you know, potholes. So we watched those all the time. Um, yeah, it, it's just a, it's part of the game. If you heard the Campions coming down the street, why, it was, it would get you going, balloon. <laughs> Just wishing you could be one was something special, and to actually get to be one was really special. 
I was very proud to be able to say I was the center of the champion and still am and uh, I was you know learned a lot from them and uh, never ever forget it. You might say it uh, it uh, took us off the streets and put us back on the streets. Pride, a lot of pride. Each and every one of us. Uh, we learned uh, how to work hard and succeed, and we did, and kept that pride. It shows the Campions are passionately marching to the beat of their own drum. Thanks for watching. Join us again next time on Snapshots, the show that brings you the small stories that make Sonoma County big in the best way.